Good morning. This is Kim Danke coming to you with today's daily devotion. Today's devotion is called You Are Radiant. And the verse comes from Isaiah 61, 60 colon 1. Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is upon you. Have you ever seen those beautiful paintings that date back to the Renaissance era? Jesus is always portrayed with a heavenly glow around his head. For that matter, many of the saints and or apostles were depicted the same way. The heavenly glow represented the radiant presence of God. These were the set apart ones, the ones that were sent to the earth to make a difference. And make a difference they did. If you ever had a question in your mind about which people were most holy, just look for the heavenly glow. If you think about it, you have that same heavenly glow. It doesn't show up in photographs necessarily, but it draws people to you just the same. The Bible says that you're a reflection of Christ, and he's the most radiant of all. You shimmer and shine for all the world to see. Sure, there are days when you feel like someone's taken a giant eraser and wiped that glow away, but even on the worst of days, you're still radiant. You let your light shine, and it makes a difference in the lives of those around you. Just one word of warning as you go through your days, shining his light for all the world to see. Sometimes a light that's pointed right into someone's eyes can be blinding, irritating. So as you are reflecting his beautiful radiance, make sure you do so with love in a way that isn't offensive or painful. Deborah learned this lesson the hard way. She wanted to be a good witness to her friends, so she made a point of quoting scriptures and lecturing them whenever they strayed too far off the beaten path. Her intentions were good, but the outcome wasn't. People began to avoid her, calling her a Jesus freak or a religious nut. Instead of drawing people to the light, they ran in the opposite direction whenever they saw her coming. Why? Because they saw her as judgmental and unkind. Perhaps a more loving approach would have been better. She could have let her little light shine, but kept it out of their eyes. What about you? Does your light shine brightly, or has it flickered into a tiny wisp? Are you using it wisely? Ask the Lord to show you the best possible way to reflect his light so that you can share his love with others in need. If you are watching this on YouTube, feel free to type in below, I am radiant, and we hope you have a great day.